Good morning, my word nerds. Hello, hello. Thank you for being here on the terrific Tuesday edition of Word of the Day. Whether you're here live or on the replay or if you're watching on my YouTube channel, I really appreciate your time. So thank you so much for being here. Hello, thank you so much for joining Brother Rob. Hello, I haven't seen you in forever. So thank you guys for being here. Real quick introduction, my name is Christine. I am a member of the Prairie Girls and each and every weekday morning, I bring you a new and amazing word of the day for you to add to your vocabulary so that you can sound smarticles. Good morning, John. Thanks so much for hopping in. So today is Tuesday. We get to share today's word of the day with the heart tribes. Long time. I know you've been hiding from me. But today we're going to share our word with the heart tribes. So it's not just the Perry girls and it's not just the word nerds. Heart tribes, we welcome you as well. So today's word of the day for all of you is laughter. L-A-U-G-H-T-E-R. L-A-U-G-H-T-E-R. Pretty easy to spell, right? It's not L-A-F-F, -F, by the way. It's L-A-U-G-H-T-E-R. And laughter is defined as an expression of merriment. That's the official definition. The, the expression of merriment. I kind of like the word merriment. I think we should add that one to the list. What do you think? I like Merriment. Hey, Teresa, put merriment on the list. So an expression of merriment. That's what laughter is. So I wanna talk a little bit about laughter. First and foremost, when I think of the word laughter, I think of a song. I love to laugh, ha, 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 ha. All right, Mary Poppins, right? There was that crazy old Uncle John or whatever his name was, and he laughed, and when he laughed, he would float up to the ceiling. And the only way to get down was to think sad thoughts. But then they'd start laughing again and everybody would start floating up again. So I think um, that's probably my very first, um, I don't know what's the word I'm looking for. The very first time I ever really figured out that laughter was super powerful was when I saw that. Now, obviously, I could start laughing right now. I'm not going to float up to the ceiling. But knowing that laughter is that powerful, right, that it could do something like that even in your imagination was pretty, uh, pretty monumental for me as a kid. My father is a very punny man. He's not a very funny man, but he's a very punny man. So I was raised on the whole mentality of if you can't laugh at yourself, you've got no business laughing at anybody else. So I had to learn early on that laughter was also a self-defense mechanism. When people are laughing at you, it's better to laugh with them. Um, that way you kind of take the power. So laughter can also be um, not a weapon, but it can be a, a coping mechanism. And then, of course, there's the old laughter is the best medicine, right? We've heard that phrase as well. And, you know, rumor has it, and I know this is one of those wives' tales I don't, or urban myths kind of things. I don't know if there's any truth to it or not. But a man was diagnosed with cancer. He locked himself in a house for a week with nothing but Three Stooges movies, and he laughed himself cancer-free. That's the story. Is that true? I don't know. I haven't even looked that one up on Snopes. But I can tell you that having a positive outlook and doing a lot of laughing and doing a lot of smiling can actually brighten your mood. I just had a pretty crappy morning. I'd say the last hour or so hasn't really gone my way. But I got on this scope and I'm talking about laughter and I'm talking with you and I'm seeing the hearts fly. So thank you so much for that. But I'm talking about laughter and I'm thinking about laughter and I've already felt myself elevate about three notches on my mood where I'm ready to go in and hey giant tweeters here I'm ready to go into the office and just kick today's butt I really am so I may not be laughing but I'm talking about the word laughter and I'm talking about the fact that it's an expression of merriment and I'm talking about all the different things things in my life and in my memories that have to do with laughter and that's like I said it's already kicked me up a couple a couple of notches so Laughter is very, very powerful. So today let's focus on laughter, whether it's sharing yours with others or drawing it out of others, right? Because that's just as important as to get other people to laugh. I love my husband's laugh. I adore my husband's laugh. I will pretty much do anything, like put a baking sheet on my head and run around the house screaming, <laughs> you know, um, just to hear my husband laugh because his laugh is my whole world. My children too. Baby's laughs. Oh, can we talk about baby laughter for about five seconds here? Who doesn't watch videos of babies laughing? Hey, Carla, how are you? Who doesn't love to watch videos of babies laughing? I mean, babies laughing. 
There's nothing better than that. I have a friend on Snapchat, his name is Sean, and he tweets, or he snaps, his older daughter making his new baby laugh, and it is absolutely heartwarming. It'll put you in a better mood. It just will. You remember the five babies when, when uh, mom would go ha or dad would sneeze or something and all of them would giggle and they won a hundred thousand dollars on, you know, America's funniest videos. Um, America's yeah. America's funniest videos. Um, was America's funniest home videos? I don't remember the name of the show anymore, but it, you know, the one that Bob, Bob Saget did and then Tom Bergeron. Um, but yeah, those babies giggling, that's, that's laughter. It'll, it'll elevate your mood. So just know that laughter has that kind of power. So make sure that you're sharing it, whether it's talking about people and getting them to laugh, um, or talking with people to get them to laugh or talking about laughter with people, or if it's just taking some time out yourself today to watch something really silly to get yourself to laugh, because it will make your mood better. It will make you healthier. It will bring you up, right? If you're feeling down. So there is your challenge today is to laugh, laugh, and laugh and to make other people laugh, laugh, and laugh too, or to watch people laugh or to listen to people laugh. Just laugh. Today is laughter day. It's also national pet day. So if your pet makes you laugh, there you go. You got two in one. All right. Use it. Don't abuse it. Laughter is the word of the day. Be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. I got to go into work. No, I love you all. And I will see you again tomorrow for the wondrous Wednesday edition of Word of the Day. So until then, mwah. Bye now.